Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your An Academy Neat English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. So my dear students, this particular session is for all the Neat 2025 aspirants, right? You can consider this session as the guest paper for the Neat 2025 examination. In this particular session, I'm going to let you know the super important topics from every chapter of your physics, chemistry and biology, which you cannot leave at any cost, right? I would highly want you guys to prioritize these topics which I'm going to give you in the today's session, right? Prioritize them, right? Uh, I, would, I would want you guys to finish these topics at an earliest because if you see the last five to 10 year paper of the NEET examination, most of the times, most of the times questions have been asked from the topics which I'm going to give you in the today's session from your physics, chemistry as well as biology. Before going into that, before going into that, I have got a very quick announcement for all the NEET 2025 aspirants. My dear students, as you all must be knowing, the Phoenix 2.0 NEET English batch, which started yesterday, right? Yesterday we have started the batch. So a lot of students were texting me continuously on my telegram, sir, can we still enroll into the batch? The answer is a big yes. You can still enroll into the batch at again 50% off. All the students who do not know about this particular batch, let me tell you, this Phoenix 2.0 NEAT English batch, it is particularly designed for all the NEAT 2025 aspirants. What is the best thing in this particular batch? First of all, your complete unacademy NEAT English team. Me, HSP sir, Yavar sir, Ambika ma'am, Pankhudi ma'am. We are going to train you specifically in all the subjects in this particular batch. All the chapters of your physics, chemistry, biology will be done by us. Number one. Number two, your complete syllabus of your physics, chemistry and biology will be done and dusted in just six months. In just six months, your whole syllabus of physics, chemistry, biology is getting completed, right? My dear students, every single chapter, right? Every single chapter will be started from the basics. All the theory, all the problem patterns which are in the chapter, they'll be discussed in detail. We are not going to keep any stone unturned in this particular batch. Right, so all the theory and all the problem patterns will be done and dusted. My dear students, whatever chapters we shall be covering in a week, Sunday of that particular week, we shall be writing a mock test. Sunday of that particular week, we shall be writing a mock test. Exactly starting at 2 p.m. till 5.20, like your need examination. On every Sunday, we are going to write the mock test. I mean, you guys are going to write the mock test. And we personally are going to analyze your scores in the mock test. And we will keep you updated through one-on-one -on -one mentorship sessions, like how you can improvise your marks in, in the test, right? So almost three, three and a half chapters we shall be covering in a week. Sunday of the week, you will have to write the mock test, right? Well, you need not to worry about the DPPs and the study material. Every single thing is included here. You're not supposed to follow any book. Whatever DPP we are going to provide you in the batch, that is more than sufficient. Just solve that DPP. We'll have the DPP discussions as well, right? So no other book apart from NCRT and these DPPs, which we are going to provide you. You are not going to solve any other thing apart from that, okay? Once we are completing the syllabus in six months, after that, we have dedicated complete two months for the revision. Complete two months we have dedicated for the revision, right? So you're not just completing your syllabus once, you're completing your syllabus twice, right? And once we are done with the revision, there will be again 30 full syllabus mock tests which are included in this particular batch, right? So my dear students, all the parameters which are required for this concrete examination to be cracked, all those parameters are incorporated here in this particular batch, which is Phoenix 2.0 Neat English, which started yesterday. So I would want you guys, all the students who still want to get enrolled into this particular batch, right, wherein you are getting trained by us in all the subjects, you guys can still enroll. And let me quickly show you how do you get enrolled. See the video which you guys are watching currently, right? In the description box of that video, you'll find a link like this, one year neat UG subscription. Click on that link. Once you click on that link, here you have got two options plus an iconic, right? What is the difference between the two? In plus you get study material in the form of PDF. In Iconic, you get study material in the form of hard copies, booklets, which will be delivered to your houses, right? Over here, you have to click on 12 months and here you need to click on proceed to pay. Once you click on proceed to pay, here you have to put your number or you can continue with your email ID and eventually you are just getting this one year subscription of Unacademy only at the rate of 499, right? And the best part is after enrolling into this particular batch, you will be having the access to all the batches of Unacademy completely free of cost. 
all the batches of NEET 2025, whether running in English or Hindi or English, you'll be having the access to all the batches of Unacademy if you enroll into this particular Phoenix 2.0 NEET English batch. So get enrolled as soon as possible. Okay, now let's move on to our actual stuff, which we are going to discuss in this particular session. What is that? That is the uh, super important topics, most important topics when it comes to physics, chemistry and biology, right? So I'll start with my subject people. So my subject, that is chemistry. In chemistry, let me give you some topics, right? From which the questions have been framed almost every year in the NEET examination. And you can expect the questions to be framed from these topics again, because these are the super important and most demanding topics in all the chapters. When you talk about, uh, when you talk about the mole concept, in mole concept, these three topics you have to cover, right? Mole conversion, limiting reagent, empirical molecular formula. When you talk about atomic structure, from the Bohr's theory part, uh, questions based on energy, radius and velocity, questions based on nodes, psi and psi square graphs for s and p orbitals, right? This again important. Electronic configuration, particularly the exceptional electronic configuration of copper and chromium you are going to study, right? Then when you talk about the periodic classification, you have got electron negativity, ionization energy, electron gain enthalpy. When you talk about chemical bonding, it's hybridization, shape, geometry, bond order, right? Similarly, this gas laws, this gas laws, you might think it is deleted. It's from states of matter, but, but, but this gas laws is included now in the thermodynamic chapter. So gas laws you have to study, which includes Boyle's law, Charles law, Avogadro's law, Gay-Lussac's law, as well as ideal gas equation. That is something which you have to study. Coming to thermodynamics, heat and work, uh, thermodynamic processes, relation between delta H, delta U, entropy, Gibbs free energy, thermochemistry part includes enthalpy of combustion, enthalpy of formation, right, bond energy, and here I'll be adding one more, that is enthalpy of neutralization, which I have forgotten over here. This is enthalpy of neutralization here. Enthalpy of neutralization. These are the topics from your thermodynamics and thermochemistry. When you talk about your equilibrium, characteristics of equilibrium constant, KPKC calculation, Lee Chatelier principle. When you talk about your ionic equilibrium part, that includes pH calculation, right? Similarly, solubility product, these are the super important topics when you talk about the ionic equilibrium. Now coming into the general organic chemistry. In general organic chemistry, my dear students, few topics which you cannot miss at all. Questions based on resonance frequently comes. Questions based on hyperconjugation. Questions based on aromaticity, carbocation, carbo and carbonyl stability, right? Questions do come from these four topics when uh, you talk about the general organic chemistry. And sometimes questions can be asked from IUPAC nomenclature as well, right? I do not consider that as super important, right? From these topics, questions have been asked every year in the NEET examination. Perfect. But IUPAC, that forms the foundation of organic. You cannot miss that too. Perfect. Moving on. Moving on to solution chapter. In solution chapter, ideal, non-ideal solution, colligative properties. When you talk about electrochemistry, Nernst equation, conductance part, kohl ross law. These are the three super important topics. When you talk about kinetics, in kinetics, your first order reactions and your Arrhenius equation. These are two very important topics when it comes to kinetics. Then your coordination chemistry, valence bond theory, crystal field theory, isomerism, three super important topics, right? Then when you talk about your P block, do the trends based on thermal stability, melting point, boiling point, reducing nature and dissociation energy. Do these trends, right? Do not forget them. Okay. So study these two topics as well. Borex and diborane, right? Then in organic, you have got ER reactions, ERSR reactions, uh, ESR reactions, SN1, SN2, E1, E2 reactions. These you have to do in detail, right? In detail. Uh, I mean, you have to do their mechanisms as well. Now, uh, dehydration and Lucas test is again important. Distinguishing test, which includes Tolvin's test, Palin's and iodoform. Then you have got Eldol, uh, Canizoro's reaction. Then you have got Clays in condensation, right? These are again super important reactions. Side chain oxidation and acidic strengths of amines. Acidic strengths of, uh, sorry, uh, this is not amines. Uh, just a second, just a second. Okay. What just happened? Just, just, just a second. Okay, I'll keep it as such. I'll write it over here again. So you have got Eldol reaction, you have got Canizoros, you have got Clays in condensation, right? Side chain oxidation, acidic strength, you have to do. Diazotization coupling reaction, basic strengths of amines here you have to do. Basic strengths of amines you have to do, right? Then, then over here you can, you have to discuss the lanthanoid contraction. You have to discuss the lanthanoid contraction. You have to discuss your K-mono4 and K2Cr2O7. 
K2Cr2O7, right? You have to discuss uh, Jeldal's method, Jeldal's method, Dumas method, right? Uh, chromatography, chromatography, and similarly, your distillation. These are again important topics from which the questions have been frequently asked, right? Your lanthanide contraction, KMnO4, K2Cr2O7, these are the two super important compounds. Jeldal's, Dumas, chromatography, and distillation. These are again super important topics when you talk about the subject chemistry. Now, moving on to the subject physics. What are the most important topics in physics from which the questions have been frequently asked, right? And will be asked too. You cannot miss them at any cost. In units and dimensions, you have got significant figures and errors. You have got measuring devices, dimensional, dimensions and analysis, right? These are the three important topics. Then you have got center of mass of bodies, collision, when it comes to the system of particles. Then in rotation, moment of inertia and torque. In gravitation, you have got escape velocity, Kepler's laws. In waves, you have got standing waves and organ pipes. Then you have got wave speed on string and sound. Then in SHM, spring mass system, pendulum. In thermodynamics, root mean square speed, average speed, most probable speed. Internal energy, degrees of freedom. First law and the processes, cyclic process. Uh, this Carnot engine, sorry, this is by mistake here. Perfect, you need to remove this Carnot engine over here. Then you talk about electrostatics. In electrostatics, questions are generally framed from field of geometrics, right? Coulomb's force, potential of geometrics, potential energy, dipole, and Gauss's law. These are again super important topics from which questions have been frequently asked. Current electricity, KVL, KCL circuits, vo uh, voltmeter meter, resistance, current, drifts, drift and parameters, right? This is from current electricity. Then similarly, these are the other topics from the other chapters. You can check it out. Please and please take a screenshot of this. Anyways, I'll be sharing the PDF on my telegram as well, which is t.me slash wasim sir chem, w-a-s-s-i-m s-i-r chem. That is my telegram channel. I'll be posting the PDF of this particular session in that telegram as well. Similarly, you've got other topics, right? You can take the screenshot of these. Now, when it comes to biology, in biology, these are the most important topics from which the questions are frequently asked and are super important topics. You cannot miss out a single topic out of these particular topics, which I'm giving you in biology as well. Please and please take the screenshot of all these topics over here, right? Okay, take a screenshot of these topics as well. Perfect. Right, this is as per your latest syllabus, as per your latest syllabus, right? And this is the final topic, right, of your biology when it comes to the most important topics of biology. So my dear students, in your NEET 2025 preparation, you cannot afford to miss out any single topic out of these topics which I have given you in the today's session, right? See, these are super important topics from which questions for sure are going to come every year. That does not mean you will avoid other topics, which I have not included here. You have got a lot of time left till the NEET examination, right? Prioritize them. That does not mean avoid the other topics, no, right? Do other topics as well because you have got time left for your NEET 2025 examination. But one thing, you cannot afford to leave any of the topics out of the given topics over here in physics, chemistry, as well as biology, right? So please and please consider these topics on high priority. So that's something which I had to tell you in this particular session. With this, I'll be taking a leave. Take care. God bless you all and love you all guys. Bye-bye.